All right, Bojax writes, Hey, John, sorry if this has been asked, but what are th- what are your thoughts on San Diego Comic-Con's special edition being on Thanksgiving weekend? Good idea. Do you think it will sell out? And also, do you plan on attending? Thanks. All right, thanks a lot for saying that in, Bojax. Yeah, this is interesting. It's funny, Rob and I were talking about this off camera yesterday. Me and Rob were talking about this. So we've known for a little bit now that San Diego Comic-Con, the biggest convention in the world for, for geek culture, is going to do a virtual Comic-Con in the summer, but then they're going to do a live in-person event in November, which is interesting. Um, So, but it's apparently now come out that the weekend that it's going to happen on is American Thanksgiving. Now, you have to forgive me because I am Canadian, so... I, I don't, even, I'll, I'll be honest with you. I don't even know when American Thanksgiving is like to me, Thanksgiving's in October. So I don't even know when, uh, when uh, American Thanksgiving is, to be honest with you, I am assuming it's sometime in November. Uh, that being said, and, and by the way, sneaker bros podcast sends in a uh, super chat badge in the live chat. Thank you. Sneaker bros. Appreciate that, man. Um, so, so it's coming out, whatever. So I just thought, well, whatever, who cares? It's a holiday weekend. People are free, but then Rob raised a couple of good points with me about why some people are concerned about that. And the main thing has to do with the pandemic. Listen, a lot of people have not seen family in a long time, me included. I haven't got to see my mom and dad or my siblings since before the pandemic started. And so I can only imagine the same is true for a lot of people in the U.S. as well. And a lot of people haven't seen family. Trying to travel during... um, Thanksgiving is like the most expensive time of the year to try to travel. That's the most expensive time of year to travel. And this year it's going to be bonkers since so many people, at least smart, responsible people didn't do the big Thanksgiving uh, family thing uh, last November. It's going to be a big one this November. So it's going to be expensive. Uh, You're asking people to give up visiting their family that they probably haven't seen in a very, very long time. All that kind of stuff. And that's good points. My thought, though, is this. It's up to you to decide. No one's making you go to com- to a Comic-Con event in November. Nobody's making me go to a Comic-Con event in November. And by the way, uh, Monks Den sends in a super chat badge saying thank you in the, in the live chat there. Thank you, Monks. I appreciate that. Um, nobody's making you go to Comic-Con. And by the way... We're still going to get Comic-Con 2022 in its regular summer months. So if you can just hold out for six or seven more months, then you'll get another one. But but the I think the main reason they probably did this is logistics. Because you can't just say any day that we're going to try to get, and let's face it, they're not going to get 150,000, 200,000 people to it like they do normally. Maybe in the summer of 2022 they will, but not in November. But even if it's like half that, 70,000 to 100,000 people. You can't just pick any weekend in a small city like San Diego and say, we're just going to have 100,000 people come into town this week. There are massive logistical issues that have to be addressed. Like, when is the convention center even available? On top of that, when are the majority of hotels? Because that's always been a big problem with with Comic-Con in San Diego is hotels. Not just in the city, but even in the surrounding areas. Like, make sure that there's no big things going on, that hotels are going to be booked up. And if it turns out, hey, guess what? There's no other events going on on Thanksgiving. Then maybe that's the time you got to do it, even if it's not ideal. So I understand. I do. I understand why some people would be upset because it's going to be expensive to travel. You want to see your family instead. I get it. I also understand it from Comic-Con's point of view. You want to have an event. There's limited amounts of options open to you. There's a logistical stuff you guys say. And if Thanksgiving weekend is the weekend you can get all the hotels and the convention center that you need, then that's the time you do it. And at the end of the day, no one's making you go to Comic-Con. No one's making me go to Comic-Con. And if I can't go, and I am going to go. I'm going to Comic-Con. As a matter of fact, now that Ann and I moved to Riverside, like we only lived about two and a half hours from uh, San Diego before. Now that we live in Riverside, we only live like an hour and a half from San Diego. Literally, I hop in the car right now. What is it? It's like 1045. I'll be there by like quarter after 12. 
I'll be there by lunch. I can hop in my car right now, be in San Diego. So I'm, I'm going to go. But if I couldn't go, I only got to wait about six or seven more months for the full blown real comic con again in summer of 2022. So anyway, yeah, that's kind of my take on that. And maybe there's, there's points of view on that, that I'm not considering, but, uh, yeah, that's just kind of how I see it right now. Thanks a lot for sending that in Bojax. Appreciate that, man.